guys, so Chelsea here from Jesus is Truth. Thanks for tuning in. And I have a very special guest today. His name is Jamie. Hi there. <laughs> He's a um, similar background to mine and uh, has been following the Lord since October. And I just thought it'd be great for him to do a short version of his testimony with you guys, just to edify the body and yeah, to plant seeds and those of you that are seeking Jesus and yeah, so I'm going to leave you with him and he's just going to talk a bit about his background and how he came to the Lord and what the Lord's done in his life since. So, love you guys and I'll leave you with Jamie. <laughs> Hi guys, so first of all I just want to say it's lovely to meet you. Um, so a bit about me, I used to be into the New Age and um, I used to be heavily into the occult. I used to practice, you know, tarot cards and um, Reiki healing, um, energy work, aura readings. And, you know, I've always been seeking God my whole life. And um, it come to a point in life where, you know, I was asking the deeper meanings of, you know, who is God and how can I have a relationship with God? And the more I got into it, you know, I used to go and see psychics and um, for them to predict my future. And I felt like I should, you know, I could follow that. And um, for a while I used to practice tarot cards. I used to collect crystals and do crystal healings. And um, then I got heavily into witchcraft and wicca. And it just got even more and more deep. And um, when I was doing tarot cards, I used to try and do people readings and kind of connect to the other side, you know, the spiritual realm. And, um, you know, we're told that there's another side, there's heaven. And um, when I used to go and see witches, they used to say they was connecting to family members. They were speaking to dead relatives on the other side. So I thought, okay, you know, maybe I could, you know, connect to these, you know, spirit realms and speak to, you know, familiar spirits. Um, spirit guides and um, you know the deeper I got into the new age I used to try and connect to them and speak to them and I opened my third eye and it got to a point where I was seeing spirits all over the place and at the time they didn't manifest as anything evil you know it was from a place of place of love it was like this this peace this false peace looking back and they used to manifest as dead family members you know, I used to do Ouija boards and angel cards. So it was never something, you know, you know, when people think of a Ouija, you know, Ouija boards, um, something to do with evil spirits. It, you know, when, when I got into the angel cards and the angel boards, you know, you're thinking you're connecting to angels. And, um, you know, you kind of think that everything on the other side is good, it's love and light. And the more I got into it, you know, the more lost I felt. And, um, when I opened my third eye, I could, I could just see auras around people and I thought this was good, I thought it was spiritual, I thought this was from God, you know, I thought that God was the, in the universe, I was taught, you know, from the occult that God is in us, he's this spark, this divine spark, you know, think of God as the ocean and we're the drops from the ocean and that we could achieve, you know, enlightenment from practicing the occult, you know, kind of working your way up the ladder. And I used to pick and choose from all these different religions, you know, Buddhism, um, mystic Islam, meditation, yoga, you know, try to reach this place of enlightenment, this this peace, you know, this, this ascension that you got the ladder of spirituality. And I just got to a place, you know, I just wanted the truth. I wanted to know who God was, I wanted a relationship with him. Um, you know, I even got to a point where I was questioning, you know, you know, reincarnation, you know, if you if you die, you can, you know, you come back anyway or something else and you can have a chance to do it all over again. And the more I was seeking the truth, there was this like this this empty void inside me that wasn't filled. And um the deeper I got into the occult, heavily into it, you know, this this void inside me wasn't filled at all. And I wasn't feeling love and I was feeling depressed and down and 
you know, kind of wanting more, trying to, f you know, fill this void inside me that only, only Jesus can fill. And, um, you know, one day I was in Milan with friends and we went on holiday and um, we just went in this cathedral and it was a Catholic cathedral actually, but, you know, I just prayed there and I said a prayer to God and um, I just said, God, show me the truth. You know, I, I'm looking everywhere to find you and I can't find you. I think I found you, but it doesn't feel right. You know, I've meditated. I've, you know, connected to angels on the other side. Um, I've done Reiki healings, you know, Reiki treatment, trying to shift some energy inside me to try and feel God's presence. You know, with Reiki, you try and, you know, Shift, shift this energy inside you to try and feel like this 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 area this, this peace um, that you know that God can come in and just fill us up through practicing the spiritual you know route and um, you know it got to a point where I was just I just asked God you know God who are you show me the truth now it's funny because I always believed in Jesus um, from a young child I always thought I loved Jesus but I had no no understanding of sin and um, you know the consequences of sin so when I was in this cathedral um, I just cried out to God and said God you know show me more truth not the truth I thought I was on the right path so I was like God just show me more show me the truth show me you know you know give me a revelation give me more understanding and a couple of weeks later when I got back off that holiday in Milan in Italy um, I used to follow this witch on YouTube and she used to teach telekinesis which is you know mind over matter you know because I used to be able to move objects with my mind it got to a point where I was really into mind over matter connecting to the energy around objects and and people and reading things and manipulating energy from the spiritual realms but looking back that power wasn't from me it was um, really demonic and um, you know, I used, you know, it got to a point where it was just, it was so hard, it was so dark and deep looking back. But I wanted more truth. So I looked on YouTube for this witch and I used to follow her. She used to give like, you know, you're on YouTube and you can follow tutorials and you kind of stick with one person and you follow them for years or months or however, however long you follow them. Now this particular witch, you know, she used to teach telekinesis, mind over matter, geometria, the occult numbers and symbolism and decoding them, numerology, astrology. I got really heavily into that. You know, she inspired me. And um, one day I just thought, you know, I'm gonna contact her. I'm gonna find her on Facebook and um, I'm gonna, gonna try and contact her and see if she can give me some advice. Um, you know, if we could meet up and do some work together, some more witchcraft. And um, her name on Facebook, there's loads of her names. I'm not going to say her name. Um, I'm going to keep that confidential. That's not for me to say. But her name, you know, for example, if her name was Sarah Jane, there was loads of Sarah Janes on Facebook. And um, I thought I found her. So I contacted this this lady and I said hey are you the woman off YouTube and um, turns out that she wasn't and she said no you know I'm a Christian I don't practice that sort of stuff I was like okay um, well this is truth this is you know this is God if you're a Christian you're seeking God you know all paths lead to God and she said no no very gently this is this is um, stay away from this lady many people have has been looking for her on YouTube and God has led them to me to tell them that she's a witch and that's not from God. Yes, that power is spiritual, but the power doesn't manifest from God, it's from Satan. And I didn't know this at the time, but because I was seeking the truth and I was so desperate and I cried, cried out to God, you know, God, what is the truth? Um, when she told me to open my Bible, I had a Bible at home anyway, which I never read. Um, I opened it and um, I opened the Gospels and read the teachings of Jesus, the biblical Jesus, because like I said before in the video, I used to always believe in Jesus, but you know, not the 
not the biblical, you know, Jesus. And when Jesus said, you know, in John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. And it was that moment I just, I just felt something from this. I felt convicted. I felt convicted of sin. I've done something wrong. And there was verses in the Bible which I can't recite off by heart, but it rebukes, you know, witchcraft. And, you know, it says, you know, it, it's powerful, but it's not from God. It's from, it's divination, it's from Satan. So the power doesn't come from God, even though it's very powerful in itself. And it is true. And I mean, that's why it's so enticing because you know the Bible says that Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light and and you know witchcraft can disguise itself as love and light and it's not it's deception guys and you know when I come to the Bible and looked at the teachings of Jesus I just knew straight away this light bulb just went off in my mind and I just cried out to God and I said if this is true if Jesus is the way and if this is right you know show me keep showing me please lord and as soon as i cried out to jesus and i asked him in my life weeks down the line for these weeks when i was in bed and i'd go to sleep satan would attack me in my sleep these demonic attacks which i've never had before but as soon as i found jesus i was in bed i had this dream where um, this demonic figure come out the sky and it came down, it started screaming at me, it was clawing me in the back, it grabbed me and it held me like this and it was just attacking me, it had so much hate for me. And that's when I knew, I thought, oh, oh my gosh, this is, this is God, this is, you know, God telling me that, um, you know, this is him and there's a reason why I'm getting attacked and the enemy doesn't like it. And I knew then there was an enemy because when you're in the new age, you don't think of, um, you don't think of hell, hell doesn't exist, you know, we're all reincarnated um, and that's how the enemy hides, doesn't he? He doesn't want you to know that hell exists. So when I was getting attacked in my sleep and getting demonic attacks, I just knew that there's some truth in this because the truth hurts and if this is true, then why am I getting so attacked in my sleep? You know, and then when I started speaking about it, and confessing Jesus, when I confessed him into my heart and my life, I started speaking open, openly about him to people. And um, people didn't like that either. They would rebuke me. They were so aggressive, you know, and because I had so much zeal for Jesus, I was a bit over compassionate, a bit over passion for him, overzealous. And, um, you know, when you realize that you've been taught a lie your whole life, you know, not just with, religion or new age but just the whole program the world follows you know the world system the beast system um it's got there's got to be some truth in that because when you mention the name of jesus you know the jesus from the bible and you recite verses to them they get so angry so that was a confirmation for me that the fact that people were rebuking it i was getting attacked in my sleep that's when I knew, okay, I'm onto something here. You know, the Lord, you know, is showing me who he is. And when Jesus said in the Bible as well, he said, you know, you know, don't marvel at, you know, in, in such words, don't marvel that the world hates you, but remember the world hated me before it hated you. And that's what got me to, to have peace and, you know, the tribulations and, you know, the persecution is that the world hated him before it hated us and um, he, he suffered just the way you know we're suffering for his name's sake and you know ever since you know when I come to the Lord you know there was a couple of lifestyle choices that I used to you know live I was a homosexual and um, you know I was involved in so much immortality and um, I used to be homosexual from a very young age. I always knew that I liked men as well as women. And, you know, for a while I was bisexual, then I decided I'm homosexual. And um, when I come to the Lord, you know, you know, when I started reading Genesis and it said, you know, God made, you know, man and woman. You know, when a man leaves his mother and father, he, 
he has a wife and they're, they're joined and they become one flesh. And it just clicked. I thought, what, you know, why do I feel like I'm attracted to men then? And having an understanding of the new age and the spiritual realms around us, because my third eye was open, I could see spirits and looking back, they're demonic, but I just thought they were spirits at the time. I had an understanding that it wasn't that I was made homosexual, it's not that God made me that way. I had a homosexual spirit in me, and I didn't know this at the time, but when I found that out, it was such a relief because I thought, okay, if I'm this way, then why would God, you know, make me this way, you know? But you've got to think about it. If God made man and woman, you know, it's the nature of things, it's the order, the way our Lord made it. And it's not that he, he hates us, it's, you know, he still loves us, but we, you know, we've got to come to him and confess our sin. And although I was still, you know, homosexual at the time, and I, uh, you know, renounced that sin, and I asked him to forgive me, I still, nothing changed. I still felt attracted to men. I still had those lustful desires. And, um, but God just told me, he said, you know, I just felt like he still loved me, but he expected me from my own will to change, to let him change me. And ever since I've put my trust in him to change me, um, the homosexuality spirit has just completely left, you know, not 100%, you know, crystal clear gone, but I don't have those desires anymore. I don't look at men in that way as much as I used to. Um, I don't think about it anymore. You know, I don't think about lust in general. Um, I just want to live for the Lord. And um, he's given us another chance. He's, he, you know, he forgives us. Um, you know, salvation is a free gift and we're saved by grace through faith. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, and all the other religions as well, you know, following them, you know, they're quite work-based, you know, and it's pretty hard work to follow all those rules. So Christianity, you know, and Jesus Christ is such a blessing because we're saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, not by works, lest anyone should boast. And I can't tell you how much the weight's been lifted ever since you know I've come to Jesus Christ and you know it's not easy it's still it's still a progress we're being sanctified and cleaned every day aren't we by the Lord um, but he has delivered me from homosexuality and you know when I'm speaking to you know people who practice that lifestyle and I always say this you know we don't we choose to live that lifestyle of um, homosexuality, you know. We don't choose the feelings, because it does feel natural, because it's a spirit inside you. It is, um, you feel drawn to men, or women drawn to women, but we choose to act upon it, and there's a difference in that, you know. I chose to live that lifestyle. Um, and when I come to God, he's, he's just healed me. He's lifted that spirit of homosexuality. He's lifted the spirit of lust and he's delivered me from that. And I found so much peace knowing that, that I'm forgiven in God. And um, I can have a relationship with Jesus Christ. He lives in me. And it's been an absolute blessing ever since. And back at home, you know, there's not many churches near me that are um, Bible believing. They, they all have their own traditions and doctrines and you know, when I was seeking fellowship, I was seeking a church. I was craving, you know, God, and I wanted to know more. And I've been to many churches, you know, and I, they just didn't sit right with me. They weren't teaching what, you know, I had this conviction, like, this isn't right. And I just cried out to God. I said, God, please send me some fellowship. Please send me a friend that um, I can trust, you know, and God sent me Chelsea. And um, someone introduced me to Chelsea because she's from a similar background, and it was amazing. Um, she ran me up and we spoke, and um, she told um, her pastor about me. And, um, you know, he, I spoke to him, and he invited me up, so that's why I'm here this weekend. And it's just been so edifying. It's been a, such a spirit-filled weekend, and it's been a blessing from God. 
and it's proved to me you know that the Lord does answer prayers he answers them he cares for you and he loves you and he loves us all we have to do is you know come to the Lord ask him for forgiveness ask him into our heart and uh, be willing to change you know it's a it's from it has to come from you it has to come you know what all we have to do is be willing to receive him and be willing to change and to let him change us and I can tell you it's the most exciting thing ever to have a relationship with Jesus Christ and I've never in my life felt this content you know trying to fill that void that I spoke about in the video earlier on I used to um, try and fill it with material things money you know greed and right now I don't want anything else in the world apart from Jesus Christ you know I could be you know I, I could have nothing I'm content I'm so happy knowing that he's all I need and there's this peace that fills me now more than ever in my entire life you know it's not easy you know I still suffer I still have attacks but you know we I rebuke them in the name of Jesus and you know that's um that's gonna happen we're gonna get attacked but that that's a sign that you're doing something something right you know the enemy doesn't want you to to know the truth he doesn't want you to know about his tactics and you know what his plan is you know and, and that we can have forgiveness and redemption in Christ Jesus so trust me when you come to the Lord he will help you he loves you so much and if there's anyone watching this who who is you know you know struggling with their sexuality and the seeking God um, you know, you know, whether you're bisexual, you know, pansexual, homosexual, any sexuality. You know, I've I've tried it. I've been there. You know, I used to uh, wear makeup. I used to be into transvestitism. And um, yeah, looking back, I just don't. I'm so content with how God made me now. You know, He made me in His image. You know, and um, I don't need to fix anything now. I'm so happy of how God made me but if there's anyone out there who is um, suffering with that you know any sexual sexuality problems then please don't worry you know just give it to the Lord he will deliver you he has delivered me from homosexuality you know I couldn't believe how how can God change if I'm homosexual how can God change it but trust me he can and he will change that for you you have to be willing to give it him you know, right now, if you have if you're having problems with sexuality, and you're thinking, how on earth can can this be taken away from me? It feels natural. It feels so embedded in me. I can tell you now from experience. It, I'm a living testimony. You know, homosexuality. It, it, God will deliver you from it. Any sexuality problems, God will and He can deliver you from that because he loves you and he you know there's no darkness too deep for God to change for God to reach and um, I just want to let you know that if anyone needs to talk about you know the sexuality and you know don't hesitate to contact me or contact Chelsea and I'll be willing to talk to you and give you advice and, um, and to help up build you and you know give you confidence in that in Christ Jesus and I just want to thank you and and this video here God bless you Jesus love you